Hey guys, in this video, I want to do a quick little comparison of the HTC uh, 1A9, the M9, and the ME here. So as you can see, first of all, if we talk about the build quality, all these phones uh, feature full metallic build quality, uh, but the 1A9 is more like an iPhone, so they really changed the design with the A9. So in terms of performance, all these phones are really uh, smooth uh, with the software, very optimized. We get Snapdragon 617 with the HTC 1A9, the uh, Snapdragon 810 with the HTC One M9 and the ME comes with the MediaTek uh, Helo X10 chipset uh, also, you know, which is really highly clocked, even higher clock than the Snapdragon 810. Also in terms of the display, so uh, if we take a look here, the HTC One A9 has a 5 inch display, 1080p HD resolution. This one has a 5 inch, uh, 5.2 inch display, slightly bigger and 1080p, the One M9. And the One ME here has a 5.2 inch quad HD display, so very nice, very high end uh, quality display here on the One ME. And also in terms of the uh, if we compare them side by side like this, you can see how slimmer the HTC One A9 is as compared to the other two phones here. So uh, very, very nice uh, quality overall, even though it, it looks like an iPhone, but still it's very, very slim. We also get like three gigs of RAM uh, on all these phones uh, for the multitasking. You can see very smooth overall when you scroll in the app drawers and all that. Uh, also, you can see here uh, with the Marshmallow, they kind of changed uh, how their multitasking menu looks like. Uh, it, they made really uh, close to the stock here, like I said, uh, card base instead of the old one. So I really enjoy the current multitasking UI that they have on the HTC One A9 instead of these uh, older multitasking UI. So you can see very smooth performance on all phones. In terms of the software here, so the HTC One A9 comes with the Android 6.0. Oh, marshmallow version of the Android right out of the box so as you can see here if I go into software information you can see Android 6.0 HTC Sense 7.0 and uh, then the one M9 comes with the, the Android 5.1 uh, lollipop it has marshmallow available uh, which is rolling out but it's not yet available at least where I live and then ME has the um, same version not the same it has Android 5.0.2 lollipop um, they really changed their uh, design of the software when it, when it comes to the Marshmallow update. Uh, they really moved very close to the stock, uh, try to make the, their look um, overall close to the stock Android. And uh, and also you can see here that if I check out the, uh, let's see here, if I go to the home screen, you can see still it looks very, very similar in terms of the uh, Design. We get the fingerprint sensors here on the HTC One M9 and the M uh, and the A9, uh, as you can see here, we, which you can also use as a home button. Why we don't really get on the HTC One M9, we instead we have this frontal speakers. Uh, so yeah, that's something that is absent on the HTC One M9. I like how they changed the notification panel on the HTC One M9 compared to the One M9 and the ME. Uh, I like how they made it very close to the stock look here, stock lollipop look. Also, one of my favorite features in terms of software wise is the uh, extreme power saving mode which we get on all these three phones which is, which is basically very convenient and very important feature to have in extreme conditions when you can't really charge your phone. In terms of the camera we get 20 megapixel sensor with dual LED flash on both HTC One M9 and the ME whereas the HTC One A9 comes with a 13 megapixel sensor uh, with a dual LED flash and if we take a look at the front uh, we have 4 megapixel ultra pixel camera on uh, all these HTC phones here One M9, One ME and One A9 so on the front here you can see it's look, it looks a little bit different on the A9 but it is there for the so camera UI is very similar on the HTC One M9 and the ME because of course they're running Lollipop so we get same type of uh, UI and features. Uh, they can also record up to 4K while we can't really record 4K videos on uh, the HTC One A9 uh, but we do have optical image stabilization on the One A9 which is absent on the M9 and the ME. In terms of overall picture quality you'll see some results brighter here. Uh, a little bit more on the HTC One A9 because of the bigger sensor size and also uh, videos will also look better more stabilized on the HTC One A9 because of optical image stabilization like I said before and you can see here a little bit darker result on the HTC One ME 
So, so in terms of the camera features, they included a new feature which is called as the Pro Mode uh, on the HTC One A9. We might see this feature coming to One ME and One M9 also uh, with the Marshmallow update. Is uh, first of all is that uh, you can control uh, like stuff like white balance and other stuff. So yeah, overall I still think that the HTC One A9 a nice design even though it looks like an iPhone but still it, it, it is kind of better as compared to HTC One uh, M9 and the uh, ME because of you know they are heavier and uh, I just don't personally like their shape so yeah just a quick look comparison between the three uh, between these three phones I hope you guys have enjoyed it uh, please subscribe for the latest tech videos and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace out